the top, the message from the top is that that lawless lawlessness is more to be able to be lawless is more important than than some rules. And so the rules in in uh, in that particular country, they're trying to hold on to the rules that they've had for for who knows how long. And now the the uh, government in Washington comes to them and tells them, you know, we we want you to make different rules. In exchange, we want you yeah. in exchange for mil- for for assistance yeah. that they have to to accept. So that's, to, so that's this is and and I believe that this is emboldened yeah. our enemy that that we exporting this perversion. Yeah. Well, look what happened. We're, uh, we're exporting this perversion, Mayor Darius. Hold mm-hmm. on, just a minute, Phil. We we mm-hmm. want to export the 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 it, 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 but you see how liberals are are irresponsible with their rhetoric. ISIS has given rise was 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 has. Uh, global warming was fueled, according to uh, WND, uh, uh, World News Net Daily, uh, the article, he said that global warming fueled ISIS. This is what gave the rise to ISIS, yeah. 85 and sunny. It's amazing. Uh, Thomas Edison once said that until man duplicates a blade of grass, nature can laugh at his so-called scientific knowledge. Yeah. Uh, you know, and, and that there it is. Man is not capable of duplicating a blade of grass. Yeah. So how can we possibly think that we know that global warming is is this issue that is is even more important uh, uh, than than. Matter of fact, the president said it. Yeah. Remember a, a number of weeks ago we played a video. He said it's the modern evil of our time. Yeah. Yeah. More yeah. important than the destruction of our way of life yes. Yes. in America mm-hmm. by a radical group of Islamists who yes. are very outspoken about what yeah. they want. I mean, it's not like they're hiding what their <laughs> intentions are. Death to America. Death to yeah. America. Death to America. And Death we are Israel. negotiating with yes. these people. Mm-hmm. No, I, I'm... I'm I'm very concerned. And we export him. He's trying to colonize countries. Yeah. You right. Know, colonize countries with homosexuality and abortion. Yeah, so you have to accept it. If you want a military assistance, yeah. you have to accept these things. Right. right here. So they use, again, this, this well, global well, warming. This is, this is used to And they use us people. as guinea pigs. You know, for this, because I mean, it's the same thing with the healthcare. Yes. You got to accept all of that nonsense yes. in the healthcare mm-hmm. here. Mm-hmm. So, like I said, the 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 message from the top, mm-hmm. this p- position of president, you know, it has to be leadership, and it has to be uh, uh, clear leadership. Yeah. And this is and this is how of, of, uh, of, of, of to be noble, man, a yeah. real virtue too. Well, but look yeah. at all of the places yeah. that his leadership has mm-hmm. has. Torn the place up, uh, Libya, Egypt, right. Syria, and 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 Iraq. We had won the war there. Mm-hmm. There was no ISIS, yes. and it's not global warming that brought that about. It's about an indifference to what's going on. As long as they are pursuing the same goals that you pursue. Well, you know, my understanding was that George Bush had some advisors that really worked against his Republican agenda. Sure. Uh, George Bush Jr. And in fact, it, I questioned Trevor Loudon about the yes. fact that we literally decimated Iraq. And looking at the total picture now, did we do that mm-hmm. to embolden and, and, and make more powerful Iran? I mean, because Iraq and Iran have been fighting for a long time. Mm-hmm. We just we decimated the one side of the of the fight in order for the other side to gain in power. And then we turned the country over to to allies of Iran yeah. in Iraq. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so. And and even the even this disparate impact, this federal forcing of housing equality, if you will, yes. again, they're using federal funds to force this into existence. If you don't follow their rules, you lose your federal funding. Mm-hmm. Boy, I'm telling you, I'd like to tell them to take their fen- federal funding and, 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 and put it where the sun but look don't how, shine. Look how hard of a time we're trying to, the, the people that actually control the funding are, you know, they, look how hard it is to get, un, get us to get them to threaten 
to take away the funding for cities with the uh, sanctuary cities. Yeah, exactly. And with the abortion thing. And then here we are supposedly giving Iran billions of dollars Mm -hmm. that we don't have. So we're borrowing from China to give to Iran. Why doesn't China just give it to Iran and keep us out of debt? Because all that's happening in this scenario is debt is being piled upon our children. And, and, and again, through debt and regulation, they are destroying the American wealth. Yeah. Why? Why? I don't understand it. Well, it's a strategy. It, it, this, is, this is a strategy. It's a global strategy. And, yeah. and, and this is happening. Everything is all global now. You see, and, this is what his agenda is, global. Yeah. This, I mean, he, you know, to, to colonize this, this country with this homosexuality now, I mean, he didn't did it here. Now he's, he's, he's after other countries. You have to accept this right here. Right. And so uh, I'm not for Russia and I'm not for, for China and all these other countries, but th- these other strong countries... Uh, they're not accepting this right here. Uh, again, this is another one. The, uh, Obama tries to end run around Congress to the UN to approve Iran deal, to approve his deal. You know, you know even though they, they 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 have laws saying that you that the uh, that they got they need 60 days to review this Iran deal, he already went to the UN. He already right. already circumvented them. It don't matter if they vote on it at all. Right. And, you know, he has already a plan. You know, we, I, I mean, can we trust it? No, we can't trust him. This is somebody that gave away five top Taliban uh, terrorists for a traitor. And you believe that I should trust that he negotiated a great deal with, with Iran and he couldn't even speak up? Well, this is we the worst speak deal. speak up for the five yeah. uh, Americans that's still in prison in yeah. this barbaric country. And this, they couldn't negotiate it, Phil. This is the worst deal that I've ever even heard of making on an international uh, deal like this. This is insane. It's insane. This is this is the we worst thing I've ever. We could not speak up for those and five Americans. Israel, Israel is 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 for all practical purposes. It's a dead country mm-hmm. because as soon as they get enough power, they will eliminate Israel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, one thing that's, we know, and that's why we gonna we we love Israel and you and we all in America love Israel because the hand we know that the hand of protection is on Israel. It says that that anyone that come against Israel come against the hand of God, and so uh, and we've seen it. You know, uh, we seen God drown uh, a man when Moses did that Exodus, the king and all his men drown in that that red sea because they imprisoned the the jewish people we know so we, we know that the, the hand of protection is on them and we're going to stand with that hand of protection the next one i want to talk about the pentagon tells recruiter to close not to wear the uniform and close the blind for protection Derek, can you play uh this is courtesy of fox news can you play number two please Congressman Scott DeJarle, and he right now wants to introduce a bill to actually arm people at these military recruitment centers. Have you had time to introduce that bill, Representative, today, or will you do so later on? Actually, Gretchen, we just introduced it about 20 minutes ago. All right. Okay. So tell me exactly what is in the bill. Okay. Well, in 92, they passed the Department of Defense directive that banned military personnel from carrying weapons, and that created the problem, uh, which we saw unfold in Chattanooga. In fact, over the past 19 years, there's been 21 attacks on military installations such as Fort Hood, uh, the Navy Yard, and, and Chattanooga. So what our bill will do is we'll, will be to repeal that directive and allow a military to arm themselves at facilities such as the one in Chattanooga and other installations across the country. Okay, Thank you very much, very- De- Derek. Is this a good idea to arm my military, to arm my... Matter of fact, I'm sorry, Derek, you know what? Finish that up. I, I forget. It's one part I want you to hear. Can you... Uh, I'm sorry, I you, closed it. You did. Okay, not a problem. Well, I, I just wanted to point out is that uh, that the um, uh, the top, the brass from the military totally uh, told our military recruiters not to wear their uniform and to close the blinds, to close the blinds on the mil- on those military recruiting centers. And again, uh, uh, I'm glad that we have a, a, a congressman uh, from uh, from for, uh, uh, Scott DeDarje 
from uh, Tennessee, Republican from uh, Tennessee that's going to introduce, already introduced legislation to repeal that law from 1992, 19 years ago, that took away uh, uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the, from our men and women in, in these bases and, and others from having weapons. They're not protecting themselves. To become, uh, what is it? They, they become gun-free zones at a military base. Yeah, and, and that's the bad thing about it because that that was clear on that uh, picture in uh, Tennessee. Yes, that uh, that that was a gun-free zone. It was. It was Man, a big it's sign right on, on the, the door. door. It's, yep. it's, it's incredible. No, I I I, th I think that that's a good idea, but you know you, you shouldn't even have to do that. Only thing should have been done was the order should have come down that all personnel will have a sidearm on at all times while on duty. That's all they had to do. But they taken that away because Oh, sorry about that. We uh, got the We're music. at the end yeah. of the show. I can't believe it, Phil. Yeah. We need another hour, yeah. folks. Go to our website, artofmichigan.com. This is our fundraising month. We need your help. What you want to say, Miss uh, Mayor, before we leave? Well, again, Thomas Edison says our greatest weakness lies in giving up. The most certain way to succeed is to always try just one more time. See you next week. See you. Talk sixteen hundred listeners to continue the roundtable discussions by mailing correspondence to Art of Michigan, Post Office Box One Thirty Five, Garden City, Michigan Four Eight One Three Five, or follow Phil and Dell at ArtofMichigan.com. You can also send emails to artofmichigan at hotmail.com. And most of all, continue to listen every Saturday and tell a friend.